Hi, so in today's video, I am teaching you how to lower your horse's head. So lowering your horse's head is one of the basic responses we retrain in our off the track thoroughbreds. So you have your stop, your go, your turn, yield and head control. So teaching your horse to lower their head is part of head control. And with them, um, so to, Teaching your horse to lower their head has a lot of advantages. Firstly, uh, it teaches your horse to carry their body in a more healthy posture and it teaches your horse to give to downward pressure. And so for an example, when a horse is in a flight response, you'll notice um, or they're, they're shying or they're fearful or they're looking at something, your horse has, the horses have their their head up and alert and their neck up and they're quite braced so you'll quite often find um horse you'll see horses being ridden where their head is up and uh, their neck is up and um they're sort of locked and braced in their head and neck so that affects how but that's how that's sort of that that's an example of an unhealthy posture um in a horse and how they're working if they're being ridden or in hand or whatever being lunge um, and then you'll see horses like in classical dressage where they're working over the back over it over their back and into a nice soft head and neck carriage now to achieve that um and particularly with off the track thoroughbreds because in thoroughbred racing they race horses use their body in a completely different way they lean into the bit they will quite often um if not nearly always um they they sort of use um the pressure goes onto the bars in the jaw of their mouth when it comes to bit pressure. So they're quite often locked in their jaw, they're locked around their pole, they're braced in their neck and it's very demanding racing. So you'll find um, off the track thoroughbreds tend to be very rock hard in their neck and they'll have that under, that big under net um, quite often. So to achieve the posture and the head and neck carriage that we're looking for is not about um, putting side reins on, uh, forcing them in, you know, forcing them into a, a head and neck position that is unethical, it's painful for the horse, it's used as a shortcut um, and it doesn't achieve anything but um, pain in the horse basically and it doesn't achieve a healthy, healthy posture. So from my personal point of view and a lot of other trainers that use ethical approaches, it's definitely not the way to train for... Um, a healthy posture and for equine welfare. Instead, we want to train our horse to be able to use their body correct um, in a correct way in a, in a healthy posture. And that starts with way back. So to achieve that lovely um, working over the back and into the soft outline, we have to, we actually have to have control um, over all the different parts of our horse's movement and body. And this is what retraining the basic foundations is. It goes right back to working in hand. Um, and part of this is teaching your horse to lower their head and neck because if they're braced, quite often with off the track thoroughbreds, it will take a long while um, for them to even give to the pressure and lower their, their head. They don't even know how to carry their body in a softer outline. Um, in, in a more healthy posture. But going back to this video, I'm demonstrating how to lower their head and neck with Tommy. Now, Tommy's actually not too bad. He does resist um, and braces against um, my, my downward pressure aid to start with, but he, he'll show you um, a nice give and release um, towards the end of the video. Um, different horses um, will start, some will, uh, you know, take a long while to even give to that first initial pressure um, and some will be a little bit lighter and give um, straight away or very early on. And this is part of, so we're training this in hand and this not only trains, um, teaches your horse that they can um they can soften in the in in the head and the neck. Okay, they can lower their head, and it not only um, trains a more healthy posture, but teaching your horse to lower the head and neck and going into that more um, more of a relaxed outline and body posture releases um, calming endorphins. So going back to how your horse holds their head and neck up in the flight response, um, the very alert um, response, okay, is obviously also going to release um, the, the flight response endorphins. 
if you teach your horse, if you change the posture of your horse in an ethical way, so training them to respond to aids, not forcing a posture, it also changes um, the internal aspects, at including behaviours and releases certain endorphins. So that's another positive of training your horse to lower their head and neck. So I hope you find this video helpful. And let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Here we have Tommy. Tommy is an off the track thoroughbred. He is 16 years old. Um, he has been re-educated. I actually got Tommy off the track. Um, I've had him for about eight years. Uh, I re-educated him myself. Back then when I re-educated him, retrained him, um, I didn't um, do the, um, the the level of retraining that I do now when it comes to in hand and ground work. So I thought I'd start off with Tommy because he's going to be a really interesting horse to um, work with. He's coming back, well, he's coming back into work. This is his second day just coming in and having a brush. Um, he does come in um, to the yards um, often, usually on a daily basis, um, and gets his feed and everything. When it has come to um, being in work, he hasn't been in work for about three years now. So uh, what I wanted to do is show you an exercise which is really good to teach a horse and it is part of the, ba the basic responses that I teach horses uh, when I retrain them. Uh, these are equitation science principles. Uh, they include training your stop, which is your woe um, or deceleration of the legs, training your go, your going forward, uh, training your turn, and training your yield and lowering the head. So what I wanted to do is show you how to teach your horse uh, to lower their head. Uh, he's going for a little bit of a sleep here. Um, I don't know what Tommy's going to be like because I haven't done this for years with him. Uh, I know that he's not very light in his responses. Um, I have done another video where we're working on our stop and a go. Uh, what I thought I would do today is just see how he is with lowering his head, uh, which teaches them to lower their 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 neck and their head into a more healthy uh, frame. So what you will see in off the track thoroughbreds is that they often have quite a high head carriage um, or they can be very heavy on the bit. But uh, teaching them to lower their head is a really good exercise for teaching them to uh, carry their body in a more healthy posture. And it also promotes relaxation in them. So asking them to lower their head um, releases endorphins um, and creates calmness. So it's a great exercise if you're sort of out somewhere, um, your horse is getting a little bit alert, um, high head carriage, having a look around, to have your horse um, trained to lower their head to a light response is an excellent tool to have. Um, so let's have a look and see how eight you are, Tom. So I haven't done this for ages with you. Um, let's have a look. So the first thing you do is you stand to the front and to the side. He's looking at the moo cows over there. There are moo cows over there, isn't there? Okay, so I'm just going to, um, where you, you hold your lead rope uh, about 15 centimetres underneath the clip in a neutral position. And what we're going to do um, is just ask for some downward pressure. Um, we always start off with a light aid first. So always give them the opportunity to respond to light pressure. If they don't respond to light pressure, you increase the pressure until they respond. As soon as they respond, you release. So let's have a look here. So I'm going to ask him to lower his head by putting some pressure on his lead rope, light, and he hasn't responded. A little bit heavier, a little bit heavier until he gives. I got a little bit of a release there. Now he's not very light in it, but I did see a bit of a release and I did feel a bit of a release. So I'm going to reward that. Good boy. Let's do it again. So I'm going to ask light pressure first. So this is light now. See how he responded with a little bit of light pressure there? Good boy. Let's have another go. Light, light. Ask for a little bit of lower. Just there. See how he gave a little bit there? As soon as I feel give, I reward it. Good boy. Good boy. You want to reward as soon as you feel that little bit of give. Quite often with off the track thoroughbreds, they will brace against it. Tommy has, I have done this with Tommy in the past, but I actually haven't done it for a long while. So let's just have another go. Uh, okay, I'll ask him to straighten his head a little bit here. Good boy. So light, heavier, heavier. I can feel it. Good boy. So a little bit of release I got there. I'm going to reward it. Good boy. Ask again. Light. Heavier, heavier, heavier. I can feel him bracing. 
ask a little bit of a wiggle, got a little bit of release there. So my aim is to have him to respond to the light pressure. Let's have another go, so light pressure, heavier, heavier, a little bit, good boy, I got a little bit of release. He's going to sleep here. Light pressure, a little bit heavier. I got a little bit, I can feel him bracing a bit. So what I do is a little bit of a wiggle on the lead. Good boy, got a little bit of a release. Hey, you're going to sleep. Okay, so, and let's have a go here. Light pressure, he's a bit distracted. Light pressure, good boy, gave me a release. Light pressure, a little bit firmer. Good boy, see how he gave there and I reward it. Good boy, yeah. Okay, so this is what you want to go and check with your off the track thoroughbred to see if they respond to lowering their head from your head collar and lead rope. Let's have another go. Light pressure, good boy, good boy, good boy, yeah, good boy. Hmm. Let's have another go. Light pressure, good boy. See how he's starting to get, little, get, um, get the hang of it? He wants to eat a bit of hay. Let him have a mouthful of hay. So with the exercises, when you're training the stop and the go, uh, lowering the head pressure, I, you, I do about three sets. So three sets of three to five repetitions. The first set is about five to seven repetitions. As soon as you get start to get an improvement in your responses, um, you stop there. Give them about a minute's break, minute to two minutes break. And then you do your second set of three to five repetitions and have about a minute to two minutes break and then you do your third set of repetitions have a minute to two minutes break and that's training that response in a training session okay so we're just having our little break here before we go on to well we'll just do another set today my foot's just cramped up here what are you doing foot ow <laughs> oh ow my left foot has just cramped up what are you doing, foot? It's got a little bit cool here today. I hmm? know oh, you're a good boy, Tom Tom. You want to have another practice? Hey? Eh? So we have our little, he's got all this winter coat coming out. He's a beautiful big boy. He's 17 hands, 16 year old. I used to ride in track work. Didn't I? We rode track work up. Yeah. Okay, so let's have another go. Let's go on to our second set of repetition so i ask him to so 15 center hold your lead wrap about 15 centimeters underneath the no you just wait babe and we're going to do again see how he's getting he wants his hay so probably not the just wait i might move him over here a little bit just so he's away from his hay because <laughs> we don't want um, him to be preoccupied there we go take your step forward big boy good boy okay i know good boy so let's just do Light pressure, good boy. Let's be distracted. Light pressure, good boy. He's sort of wanting to rub now, so let's make sure we um, distinguish between giving and rubbing. Light pressure, heavier pressure, good boy. Hey. Okay. Light pressure, heavier pressure, good boy. Light pressure. Good boy. So it's not nice and smooth and going down. He's, he's sort of a little bit all over the place with his head, but this is basic response. Which we're at the basic response level. Light pressure. Good boy. Good boy. Hmm? Good boy. Oh, I know you're a good boy. Okay, let's have one more go. So, light pressure. No, 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 without needing me. Light pressure. Good boy. So we need to distinguish between him biting me, light pressure, good boy, good boy. Light pressure, good boy. See how he lowered it a little bit there? Uh, I have to distinguish when, when I feel him lowering his head. I'm going to ask him to take a step back here because I didn't want him to go forward. That's called your stop and go response there. So that was his stop response that we're working on. I've done another video on that. Let's just do one more. Light, heavy. Good boy. So he did give. Okay, he's sort of wanting to have a little bit of a play with his lead rope, but I felt him give. 
I'm going to leave it there for that session and I will do this again tomorrow. Hmm? So I hope that gives you um, an idea of how to train um, your horse to lower his head. This is a basic response. You should, this is the first time that I've done this with Tommy um, in years and years and years. So I will film again um, his next session and we'll just watch how he improves with lowering his head. Mm, you're a good boy. You don't want to overtrain things. You want to keep them so that they aren't overwhelmed or they don't get stressed. See how he's pushing and wanting to get back. So this is to do with your stop and go. So his stop response means that I want him to stand there until I ask him to move. And we need to train that too. Good boy. Okay, I'm gonna pop him back now. There you go, there you go. We'll pop you back and give you your dinner, you beautiful big boy.